for this. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Donna Sports Show, brought to you by my great sponsors. And let me tell you a little bit about my great sponsors. Uh, Forest Preserve District of DuPage County. They have three courses, Maple Meadows, Green Meadows, and a brand new one called the Preserve. Wow, if you get to play that course, beautiful. Uh, it's a preserve course uh, where, you know, uh, wetlands and so on, they preserve a lot of wildlife out there. But everything is beautiful. The greens are beautiful. The fairways are beautiful. Get out there and play the preserve. Primerica Investments, my uh, nephew Mike Figarelli will will in, uh, help you invest some of your money and you'll make a lot of money. Mugs and Manor, uh, and uh, right there on uh, Addison Road, Mugs, 33 great beers on tap and a wonderful uh, menu. Fox Bowl out in Wheaton, Illinois, a wonderful atmosphere for bowling. Advance Auto, you want to get your car fixed, you got to go see Dom or Rod at Advance Auto on Lake Street. Man, them guys, they know cars inside and out, and they're very reasonable in what they charge, and they, they don't do anything if you don't need it. Pyramid Sports Bar and Pizzeria right there on Lake Street. I believe it's 268 uh, Lake Street. Uh, 20 pool tables there. And the place is great. The atmosphere is great and the food is great. In Trend, uh, well, In Trend. Johnny, you know a little bit about In Trend. Uh, it, it's not for an average guy because, uh, you know what I mean, they they do things for Com Ed. Com ed and, uh, but they're very nice people. Uh, uh, I don't know if the average public can do anything about their business, you know what I mean? Because they work for ComEd, and they get contracts to do underground wiring. And you see their trucks all over, right, Johnny? Yes, I sure do. I saw them uh, yesterday when I was coming back from Wisconsin. <laughs> yep. Yeah, two nice people, Loretta yeah, they, and... They do uh, underground and overhead uh, work, because I see their uh, their snorkels up in the air, uh, pulling cable, pulling wires, and uh, working... Working on the on the electric pole. So. Oh, is that right? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Wonderful. Uh, Danny and Loretta Rosenmeyer are the owners. And Max Golden Pheasant. Oh, a wonderful place to eat right there near uh, 83 and North Avenue. I believe it's uh, 668, uh, but it's right near that intersection. Max Golden Pheasant. Been there for a long time, and the food is great, and the atmosphere is great. The Addison Park District. They do a lot of different things for average person if you want to get involved in all their programs give the addison park district a call and shoeless joe's you know johnny shoeless joe's you know there was a guy named shoeless joe i don't know if you know that or not a baseball player way back and uh for some reason he lost either he lost his shoes or he forgot his shoes one day and he's playing out in a in the outfield there, a professional player, and he got his name, hey, Shoeless Joe's, you know, and it stuck all those years, but he was a great player, and there's a, a bar and grill right in Addison called Shoeless Joe's, so if you get a chance, stop in there. All right, folks, uh, we'll be right back in a moment, so stay with us. All right, get Tom Michael on the line. Hi, everybody. Uh, Don Figarelli here at Donna Sports. I want to tell you about a new sponsor uh, we got recently, uh, the Addison Park District, okay? Uh, now, the website is addisonparkdistrict.com in small letters, all right? And the phone number is 1-630-233-7275. Now, let me just read you uh, some of the things from their brochure. You know, there's a summer brochure, a fall brochure, a uh, spring brochure. Stop in at 120 uh, Oak in uh, Addison. You could uh, get the brochure. I'm going to read off some of the things that they offer, but you know, I, I, I can't do it all, but I'm going to give you some highlights. Like at Club Fitness, all right? They have... Uh, the uh, so many things you could do there personal training, uh, discounted uh, ad admission, and you know, monthly fee, a yearly fee. They have a boot camp, uh, personal training, kettleball basics, the uh, zombie boot camp, diabetes prevention, uh, stroller strike. I'm just there's so many things you could do adult intermediate swim, adult uh, swim lessons. Private swim lessons, parent tot, uh, water explorers, 
tadpoles, minnows, seahorses. Wow, you could do so many things there at that club fitness. And then, of course, they have uh, links. These are only two of the things. There's many, many other things you could do at the Addison Park District. Links and tees, golf facilities. Wow, they have group golf outings, birthday parties, golf leagues, summer junior golf, clubhouse uh, available, uh, foot golf. You know, in football, it's like soccer. You kick a ball into a into a big hole. It's like soccer, but it's golf combination. Uh, junior programs, snag program for youngsters, miniature golf, outdoor training for golf, putters peak. Yeah, you could play miniature golf there. It's a beautiful facility. It's a big Putters Peak. It's a big mountain. Uh, and birthday parties all at the Addison Park District. Please go to the website addisonparks.com or call them 1-630-233-7275. The Addison Park District, the greatest. Hi, everybody. Welcome back on the line with me now is my good friend, Tom, the big guy, Michael. Hello, Tom. Hey, how are you, Don? Good, well, good uh, to talk to you. Yeah, nice to talk to you, Tommy. Before we get into how Jack Ryan is and so on, Tom, are you, are you doing much with the kids with Santa Claus? Because years ago, while you amazed me, uh, you would do Santa Claus in 10, 12 different places. Are you still kind of doing that type of stuff? Well, you know what? I retired last year after the helicopter ride at the club. Uh huh. And what I did this year was I just delivered uh, all kinds of uh, uh, food to mm. North Lake, to Forest Park, Is that to right? uh, River Grove, and then a lot of toys all over. So I've been doing that for the last two weeks. Oh, okay, but not not as Santa Claus per no, se. No, no, yeah. The suit the suit wore out after thirty five years. <laughs> It was tough. Right. Yeah, and then you're in that mat, you know, boy, that's, that's a rough day, you know, you're in that. Oh, yeah, I mean, for three, four hours, it's tough. <laughs> but I bet you the kids loved it, huh? Oh, they did, yeah. It's fun to see their faces when you do stuff like that, I imagine. Well, Tom. the funny thing was I remember going when when the girl was two and then when she was graduating from college. Is yeah. that a fact? Is that in, right? In the, in the same family. Is that right, Tom? Gee, with, yeah. Oh, and uh, well, who else did, uh, didn't your neighbor do uh, Paul Harvey's house or something like that? She decorated. Who was that? That was uh, Al, oh, that wasn't your wife. That was Al that, Stryker's wife? Al Stryker's wife. Uh -huh. And I went over to help her lift the tree. It was a tree that you put together and it lights up. Oh, okay. okay. They had one from last year, but you know, the Harveys, they got rid of it. She said, can you get rid of it? I said, I'll get rid of it. We set the tree. I went home. I put up that tree, and I put a little sign, donated by Paul Harvey. Is that right? Yeah. See, that's an interesting story. Uh, but, Tom, here, a little update now on Jack Ryan. And uh, here, actually, uh, John knows a little m more about it than I do. John, why don't you tell, because uh, uh, Tom called me, and he said he got a call from uh, who did he, who did you get a call from, uh, Councilman Bill Kugelman? Kugelman. Uh, how do you know? Or how, where does Kugelman come in with you, Tom? Did you cross paths with him somewhere? I, I have no idea. Except I think it comes through Frank Murphy. Hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. Uh, is, he, is he a banker? No, Kugelman was he's retired from the Chicago Fire Department. He was a battalion chief around uh, Montrose and uh, uh, Montrose and Kedzie. I wonder how he got my number. Maybe through one of the guys here that's a fireman. I don't know. And then, I probably met him somewhere. And then also he's retired from the Chicago Fire Department Union. He was president of Local 2 of the Union for, for, for a few oh, years. Right. What's he, does he have a radio show? He does meet the Chicago historians here. Uh, and he, in fact, he was here yesterday in, a, in, 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 a, in the studios here. Mm -hmm. I wonder how he knew me. <laughs> that's what the... Because he, he called me. It was unreal. Well, you're a popular guy, Tom. You know a lot of people. Well, no, when it's a police, or he was a fireman or a policeman? No, police. I mean, fire, oh, just, fire. He was a fireman. Oh, well, fire. Well, well, I yeah. know a lot of firemen, but that's it. That's it. Where does he live, do you know? Right now, he lives, um, he lives off of Montrose Avenue around Rockwell. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Well, is, he, is, he, just, is he still working? No, he's retired. Mm -hmm. Okay, I don't know how I know him. I'll find out though. Yeah, but anyways, I was quite surprised uh, when he uh, when you know when I heard that uh, you two guys had talked. I said, yeah. well, "How how you know I 
I mean, what's the relationship there, you know? Yeah, so. I, 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 it's amazing. I don't know how how I got to know him, but I mean, well, so but, that's what, but anyway, we got the answer. Yeah, yeah, he knew about Jack. He told you about Jack, so we don't he, know he where says, he's at, actually. He, he says, have you heard any, about, about Jack Ryan? I don't even know how well, how he knew I knew Jack Ryan. Mm -hmm. Was he ever on your radio show? Well, yeah. No, I, I, no, Bill was never on your show, no. Oh, no? No, no, he was never on uh, Donna Don Sports Show, no. Was he on the station? He, uh, I don't know if he ever called in when we were, when we were with WJJG or not. I don't think so. It's it, unreal if, how he knew me. I if, don't know, if, how, he, you know if, if and he, how he got my number. If he did uh, call in, he would call in on Cop Talk with Bill, Jack, and Eddie, because he's, uh, him and Ken Little and a few other People used to call in on Cop Talk that was oh, on Saturday yeah. mornings, you know. Yeah. But because yeah. uh, mm -hmm. I asked him yesterday, I says, "How do you know uh, Bill Kugelman?" And he says, uh, "I don't. He never. He never gave me an answer, you know." And I said, "Well, that's really strange that uh, you know you two two guys had talked." <laughs> so. Yeah, but, I know. I, you know. But Thursday, Thursday, uh, no Wednesday evening, I was just getting ready to do another show down here called Chicago Junction. The show is all about railroads. All the guys that are here are, are all railroad, uh, either retired from the railroad or, or something to do with railroads. Hobbies. Yeah, and uh, I know they actually worked. A couple of them were worked for uh, were engineers for Chicago Northwestern, uh, Union Pacific, and a couple of, of the other railroads. Mm -hmm. So Bill uh -huh. called me and he says, uh, "Did you hear anything about Jack Ryan?" I says, "No." Uh, and he says, "Well, he says uh, I heard that he had he, he got a stroke." And yeah, I, yeah, yeah, that's what this guy was telling me. But he was gonna try to find out from somebody. Yeah. I don't even know where he heard it from. Yeah. So I, I that's 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 a sixty-four thousand dollar question, uh, Tom. So I have his number. I, I might call Google and find out what's going on. Okay. And also, then uh, I had called. I have two numbers for 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 uh, for Jack, and I called both numbers, and I left. A, 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 um, voicemail. Voice, voicemail message. This is John Vitta, and I left, I left my uh, my phone number, area code three one two three two zero five five one five, and I says, Jack, give me a call. And um, to this very very moment, I never heard from from him. And and I was, I was saying to everybody, it's easy to think that the family would have listened to the to the voicemail and and would return my phone call, but I heard from. Nobody, as of the second that I am talking to you right now. How long? When did you call? Oh, I uh, I wore my phone out calling because I heard this w uh, Wednesday. I mean, a, week, a week ago, a day ago. It was just ago. it was just past Wednesday. This Wednesday that just passed. Oh yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I called Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and e even yesterday on my way home from Elkhorn, I I called yeah. and got no um, no 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 messages. Well, whatsoever. it may be a cell phone, and nobody's. It may be his cell phone. Well, yeah, right. that's right. Uh, uh, no. That's right. Maybe they don't have the number. That could be. You know what I was thinking too, Tom. Your son was pretty big in the city of Chicago uh, with architecture and stuff like that. Maybe that's where Kugelman got your number or something. Maybe from your son. Yeah, you know what I'm thinking? I'm a, I, yeah, I got his number back at the house. I'm going to call him there. Yeah, because he might know your son, right? Wasn't your son uh, in architecture and so on uh, yeah. two years back? So maybe yeah. you know maybe they cross paths there somehow you know. So what did he do? You say? oh yeah, what, that's a possibility. Yeah. Yeah, that that's what I think. He may know your son, you know. But we'll yeah. we'll find out. All right, Tommy. Uh, listen, buddy. What about our bears, huh? Right. Uh, they can go all the way. I uh, think <laughs> you see all these other teams. Uh, even last night and uh, yeah, you're Dallas. And, uh, it, it's unreal. Uh, there, there's a lot of uh, uh, yeah. If, if he plays a steady game. Mm -hmm. He's the key. The kid is Travinsky. If he just does what he's told, they'll be good. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're right. That game last night, Drew Brees, they, New Orleans didn't look that good. They, no, they, they struggled. They won, but they didn't look that good. I'm thinking, you're you right. know, maybe when the Bears play them, uh, you know what I mean? It's they're liable. Well, if they play them, it would be maybe in the final game. Oh yeah, not not during the uh, playoffs. I okay. I. I I'm not sure of the scenario there. How who who they play? Well, I think that if uh, Minnesota wins a couple of games, they'll have to play the Bears at here over here. Oh, it's something like that, huh? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, gosh, uh, 
It's a surprise. I, I didn't really think they would do as well as they're doing, Tom, you know. Uh, oh, they're doing well. I mean, the defense is the key, you know that. Yeah, right. Uh, but uh, they got to have the quarterback, like you say, to He's perform. He's got to be just controlled. Yeah, he, ha- he has to be in uh, because you can't just win it scoring. You know, holding the other team. You know, you got to score. Right. Some, you got to score some points. But uh, yeah. t- Tom, nice talking to you, buddy. You too. And, Take care uh, and Merry Christmas. Yeah, Merry Christmas and uh, uh, say hi to yeah. say hi to the family for me. I will. All right. Take care. Right. Bye bye. All right, folks. We'll be right back. Hi, everybody. Don Figuerelli here. The Don of Sports want to tell you about some very interesting people that I know, a wonderful company that they have, Danny and Loretta Rosenmeyer. It's their 25th anniversary being in business and uh, in conjunction with ComEd. Okay, they do a lot of work for ComEd. They're bringing stewardship to the construction industry for 25 years and counting in trend. Outperforming every day. They're located at 18202 West Union Road in Union, Illinois. 60180. Their website, www.intren.com. That's I-N-T-R-E-N. Outperforming every day. Loretta and Danny Rosemary. Loretta is the chief executive officer. Her mobile phone is... 815-341-4535. That's in trend. 25th anniversary, bringing stewardship to the construction industry for 25 years and counting. A wonderful corporation. Thank you very much. Hi, everybody. Uh, Don Figuerelli here, the Don of Sports, talking about Max Golden Pheasant. Wow. A fixture in Elmhurst for many, many years. Located in Elmhurst, of course, near Route 83 and North Avenue on the south side of the street. Now, uh, you know, it's kind of a combination sports bar, beautiful restaurant. Uh, Steve Mack, what a what a great guy. He went to York High School, a great baseball player. He's the owner. His dad owned it, and I believe his dad... Grandpa owned it also. Uh, food is terrific. You, you walk in, and there's a ter- nice circular bar right there with not giant screen TVs, but nice TVs all around the bar. Uh, and there's always uh, some people around the bar, friendly people, combination, some young guys, some older guys, some young ladies, some older, you know, uh, at the bar as you first walk in. But then you go in the back, uh, where the the restaurant is terrific, big fireplace, nice tablecloth. Uh, could look out on the backyard uh, like it's a, oh, a little atrium back there. Some flowers and trees. Could look out that window if you'd like. Uh, and uh, the service is terrific. The food is great. They have a special every day, uh, and the food is great. They uh, they the waiters, the servers are are terrific people and uh, reasonable prices but but great food and a, and a great bar so uh, do me a favor and get in to see Steve at Max Golden Pheasant in Elmhurst uh, do yourself a favor uh, take care now hi everybody welcome back on the line with me now is my good friend Andy the big guy Tranchita <laughs> hello Andy Don. Hello, <laughs> hello, Don of Sports. How yeah. are you? All right, Andy. Listen, Andy, tell the folks a little bit about your career. You know, uh, I mean, you were a real good football player, and uh, you, you played for the Elmer's Trap. What about high school and things like that, Andy? Did you did you play no, in high school? I only I only played one year in high school. I was a little undersized. So then, uh, as I matured, and I. Uh, I started to get bigger and bigger, and then started pumping uh, iron, and uh-huh. they called it power lifting in those days. So then I I got into the semi pro league. That's what yeah. I yeah, that's what I thought because you're you're about two hundred pounds easy, uh, and you played full. Yeah, I, I played I played at two ten. Wow. I played uh, fullback and and linebacker, and once in a while as a guard. Okay. Uh, so. Uh, and- 
I used to bounce around like a little ping pong ball, <laughs> Don, because they were 275. <laughs> so I gave away a little bit of weight. Yeah. But it was a lot of fun. I, I enjoyed it. I spent 16 years in the league. Is that uh, right? Yeah, after I quit playing, I, I owned the River Grove Cowboys, who were perennial champions. Is that I right? I was the head football coach of the team and business manager. Okay. And then when I retired, I turned it over to my staff, mm-hmm. and uh, I put my football career behind me. Well, sure, but I'm sure you're still, uh, you you follow foot, you follow the Bears, of course, right? You know, yeah, um, I follow the NFL. Yeah. I, I like the NFL. I, I watch a little bit of college football, but. Mostly the NFL okay, and baseball, of course. Yeah, all right. So, Good. <laughs> I think the Bears could do well in the playoffs. Uh, everybody uh, kind of You know like, what? If they get past the first round, uh, yeah. they've, they've got a real good chance. They've got a dynamic defense. Mm-hmm. Uh, the offense, you know, they're, they're still going to build that offense, but they've got the talent to come to fruition. Yeah, that's you're, for sure. You're absolutely well, right. You're absolutely you know, Don, well, I've got you on the phone. Yeah. I mentioned to you earlier on, we're working on the Iron Man of semi-pro football, namely Frank DeMarco. Okay, you know, as a matter that's right. I wanted to talk about that, about Frank, you know. And sure. And tell the folks uh, what, what he, uh, you know, what how, how his career was. Okay, Frank DeMarco is a retired Chicago police officer. He also did some advanced police training in Quantico, Virginia. In mm-hmm. the interim, mm-hmm. he's... He played 26 years in the semi-pro league. He was an offensive guard. Wow. He is literally called the Iron Man of semi-pro football. The American Football Association is a national league, well-recognized. They are going to have their own TV broadcast. Mm-hmm. And uh, he's a Hall of Fame member as well. He's also a Hall of Fame member in the Chicago Metropolitan Semi-Pro League, okay. and shortly going into the Italian-American Sports Hall of Fame. Oh, is he going now? Are you he, for sure on that? Or, uh, well, we're, we're 99% sure that he's going to be inducted. Wow, that's um, great. Yeah, hopefully uh, you can give him an interview and get a little bit more exposure, and maybe we get a DVD made and send it out to Jersey. Yeah, right. And then the committee will meet in January, and uh, I, if if football is the sport that's going to be uh, nominated this year, then I'm pretty sure Frank is going to go in. I see, see. What they do is they they honor all sports, everything. Yeah, I from, see. Uh-huh. From baseball, football, swimming, whatever. Uh, yeah, whatever. You, you know, get the whole to... whole nine yards. Yeah. I even think they sponsor. They they've got bowling now, and so they're they're really well-rounded when it comes to recognizing the individual sports. Okay. Well, now, here, Andy, let me tell you, uh, I can I could interview him January 16th. Is that time enough to... Uh, January 16th? Well, you know what? I'll have to find out from George okay. when that committee meets. Uh-huh. But at any rate, he would need that for his profile anyway, Don. Yeah. I, I think they... Um, I think what happens, Don, I think it's in the middle of January is when they meet, but, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to uh, confirm that. Yeah. Well, put this date down, January 16th, okay? Okay. I already wrote it down. Yeah, it's, a, it's an evening, uh, sure. you know, 730 at the, the studio. That I can do, and then we'll have a nice uh, 10, 15-minute interview with, uh, with Mike. Great. Okay? Uh-huh. And then, yeah, that'd be great. Then I, in a few days, and I'll have a tape. And I'll give it to you. So sure. uh, I don't know when they're going to look at the tape. You know what I mean? Uh, well, I think what we're going to do, Don, once we get the tape, we're going to, uh, it comes in DVD format, I'm sure. Yes. We're going to overnight it to the committee. Oh, okay. And so that they can have, they, they have his profile. <clears throat> you also have uh, a profile of his. Mm-hmm. Uh, maybe what uh, you and I can do, Don, prior to the interview, mm-hmm. we can meet, and I'll uh, I'll provide you with the profile, and you'll see everything there that you can ask the guy about. And, okay. Uh, and I we'll go from there. It should be really good. You know, yeah. It should be good and fluid. All right. I'll do that, Andy. We'll, we'll get in touch uh, b- before January 16th, okay? Sounds good, my friend. All right, Andy. Uh, you take care now, and uh, we'll have a Merry Christmas, you and your wife, all right? 
And, okay, uh, and, and you and Julie as well. Yes. And a healthy and a prosperous New Year's too. Yeah, thank you, Andy. All right, bye-bye now. Bye now. Okay. Uh... Hey, everybody, welcome back. Uh, I'd like you to go over to Addison Advantage of Addison, a car care center. Why? Because they have a free inspection for your brakes, your exhaust, your struts, your struts, your shaft, ball joints, radiators, water pumps, timing belts, tires, wheel bearings. You realize yeah, there are that many things that would be done on a car? Hey, <laughs> that's all called uh, preventive maintenance, that, right? That's absolutely and, right. Know, yeah, it's absolutely right. You Jack. can't be too safe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, get in there. And, and But if you do need some things, there's a $20 bonus voucher for any service over 250 which, you know, that 20 saves you 20 bucks. And a $5 bonus voucher, I keep saying voucher, voucher, $5 off any service over $30. That'd be easy to do. An oil change would be that. You'd get $5 off. They're located at 885 Lake Street in Addison. They're open Monday through Friday, 8 to 6. On Saturday from 8 to 3, give Dominic or Leon a call at 630-543-1397. All right, that's Auto Advantage of Addison Car Care Center. Great guys. They have uh, best warranty around and the longest warranty around. Uh, brakes are $70 off on a, on a brake job with a four-wheel lifetime warranty. Can you imagine that? Mm -hmm. And a one-year warranty on all labor that they do. Uh, all work comes with a warranty. So if you need... Uh, your oil change, you need transmission, you need uh, flush, a front end work, fuel pumps, whatever whatever you can think of on your car, go over to Addison Advantage uh, of Addison at 885 Lake Street in Addison. Call Dominic or Leon, 630-543-1397. Hi, everybody. This is the Donna Sports Don Figarelli telling you about one of our great sponsors all right pyramid pizzeria and sports bar that's right pyramid pizzeria and sports bar addison's favorite pizzeria at 236 west lake street in addison phone number 630-458-0777 hot fast delivery 2012 addison pizza by the slice winner yes best thin crust pizza best sausage pizza Best Pizza Sauce, late night delivery. Here's their hours, Sunday to Thursday, 10, at 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. That's 10.30. Friday and Saturday, 10.30 a.m. to 2 a.m. Minimum order, $10. Delivery charge only $2.50. Menu prices subject to change without notice. Dine-in, delivery, carry-out, catering. That's Pyramid Sports Bar and Pizzeria. www.pyramidclubaddison.com. Go there. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to the show. On the line with me now is my good friend, Judy Jacobucci. Hello, Judy. Hey, Don. How are you? Well, I'm doing pretty good, kid. How's uh, how's your shopping going for Christmas? Oh, I haven't started yet. Do I need to get started? <laughs> you only got a week, right? You better oh, get... That's, that's plenty of time. <laughs> yeah, that for you is plenty of time. Well, what you got cooking now? You're doing a lot of sports stuff, uh, or are you, are you off for the... Holiday, uh, you, you playing or what, Judy? Tell the folks a little bit about what you're doing. Well, I play uh, women's ice hockey in the Chicago area out of the uh, Skokie Rink in, in um, Northbrook Rink. Wow. And um, we are coming to a close for the holiday season, if, you know, t till Christmas is over, and then we start right back up after the first of, new e uh, first of the year. Wow. Now, is it... Uh, 40 and over or something, League Judy, you know what I mean? Because you're only 40-some years old. Uh, you can, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you can't I, started, be... well, I, I started just before I was 40. <laughs> you know, I've been playing about 22 years, so, yeah, that, add, that added a few more years to it. <laughs> but I, I mean... Wish it, I, I wish we were only playing with 40-year-olds. We play with a lot of kids that are in their 20s. Is that right? Oh, well, that's, and, not, uh, that's not fair. It's not a, uh, a, 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 you know, it's an open-age league, you know? I mean, nope, 18 and over, and we have a couple of gals on our team that are in their 70s. Is that a fact? Wow. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, full, full con. Well, you, you, you can't check, if I'm not mistaken. You can't really bang into somebody, can you? We're not supposed to. <laughs> We're not supposed to, but 
you know, sometimes people get in our way. Yeah. <laughs> but but then, we're on a mission. We're on a mission. And then you got to go to the penalty box, right? I mean, if the ref calls it or... or yeah. Oh, wow. Call it. Yeah, the sin bin. Mm -hmm. Spend a little time reflecting on what you shouldn't have done. <laughs> Uh-huh. Well, now, uh, tell the folks a little bit about your business, Judy. And, and by the way, are you, are you hiring uh, now? I know uh, you were looking for some guys uh, to work, but uh, are you still hiring now? What, uh, what's yes. the name? Okay. Yes, I am always hiring, and I'm always short of security officers. I own a security agency. We provide um, uh, arm, armed and unarmed officers to secure like uh, condos and residential properties, mm -hmm. shopping centers, mm -hmm. uh, all in the Chicago area, Melrose Park. Wow. And we're always looking for security officers. So if anybody's out there, please go to our website at hawksecuritychicago.com and fill out the online application. Okay. I would is, love that. All right. Is it full-time, part-time, Judy? What, uh, you know, are there's, you... There's both. We're always looking. Uh, there's a lot of part-time um openings for people that can fill in. I, um, I just hired a guy that uh, is retired, mm -hmm. but he just wants to pick up a few hours, so that's perfect. Mm -hmm. And uh, mm -hmm. and it's just being flexible. It's really hard to find good help these days. Yeah, I, I would imagine. Well, what's the requirements, uh, Judy? Uh, of course, they have they to know have, police work, so on, right? Well, for private security, you have to have a PERC card, that's P-E-R-C. What is that? Say that again. PERC is Permanent Employer Registration Card, P -E -R -C, oh, okay. RC, and that is issued by the state of Illinois after you fill out an online application, uh, an application, and they do a background check, mm -hmm. um, Illinois State Police and federal background check, and then you have to take a class, um, it's called a 20-hour private security class. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. that are available. If you just Google uh, private security, they pop up all over the place. I see. So you just need your 20-hour training in this PERC card, Okay. and um, do you, and, do, and you're good to go. Uh, do they uh, have to carry a weapon, Judy, or not necessarily? No, all my armed, all my armed jobs are done by off-duty police officers, mm -hmm. so most of the jobs I have are unarmed, and they're, um, they're, we do a lot of the... Um, you know, customer service based, mm -hmm. we're providing mm -hmm. a service of, of just being a friendly face and like at a front desk in a, in a condo building where wow. you yeah. people in. Oh. I only like to do night security. Yeah, so <laughs> actually, yeah. well, it's 24 7, right? I mean, you can have someone that, see, yeah. he, he might tell you, hey, I can, I can start working at one in the morning till three yeah. or four. You could use yeah. them. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah that, that's good to know. Uh, we'll, uh, We'll have you on the uh, show again, you know, you <laughs> you and your buddy uh, over there yeah. in Forest Park there. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. D d wasn't, yeah. Isn't he a friend of yours, or how did you guys hook up? You know, um, with the that, the catering guy over there in Forest that Park. That was Henry. Henry owns the uh, Starship in, in Forest Park. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's called Starship. That's right. Yeah. Well, we'll get and then the other gentleman I was on the air with was Alex Cardoza, who was a pitcher and played for the uh, Addison Braves baseball team. Oh, oh that's right. Yeah, how is yep. it? Yeah, how is good. how is he? He's good. He actually is a police officer with Brookfield now, mm -hmm. and he started out as a as a um, a security officer for me, mm -hmm. and uh, worked his way up the ranks and and got into uh, full time law enforcement, and he's. Raising a family and living and working in Brookfield now. Oh, wow, that's good for him. Uh, that was great. You got him started, Judy. Good job on that. All Thanks. right, Judy, say hi to him for me, will you? I sure will. Don, you have yourself a Merry Christmas. Look forward to seeing you. Yeah, we'll get together, okay? And we'll, get, well, I'm going to get you some good tickets for one of those hockey games. Soon, huh? <laughs> okay, I'd like to. I'd like to see it. All right, you take care. Yeah, take care. Bye bye. Hey folks, if you get a chance, get over to J.D. Muggs Bar & Grill, located at 437 North Addison Road in Addison, Illinois. 33 different kinds of beer, can you imagine that? It's the home of the He-Man Burger, and baby, that is a He-Man Burger. Wait till you see the size of that burger. Chicken Caesar Salad, which is one of my favorites. It's a friendly atmosphere. There's karaoke on Wednesday night, and a great DJ on Fridays. Call Dean at 630-833-2570.
Hi, my name is Tom Sims. I'm the owner of Fox Bowl. We are Fox Bowl Training Center and Pro Shop. We set ourselves apart because we emphasize instructions. We have a full-time bowling instructor, Greg Zika. We have instant replay, videotape each bowler. Another program that we have is our Youth Bowling, USA Bowling. It's an eight-week program, after-school type of thing. It's eight weeks for $88 with instructions, and every child gets a free bowling ball, a $75 value. And thank Thank you from Fox Bowl. Y'all ready for this? Hi everybody, welcome back. On the line with me now, my good friend Donald Ortal. Hello, Donald. Hey, Don, how are you? <laughs> All right, what uh, what title now? Uh, tell the folks, uh, the, you the president of the uh, National. Association for Park District Foundation. Did I get it right? You you are you are so close, but you always give me big promotions whenever <laughs> you. Uh, Don, I am the I'm the founding executive director of the National Association of Park Foundations. Mm -hmm. and we were so lucky to have you as our MC for our very first awards banquet to oh, get back it, in uh, in November. Yes, and it was done up right, Don. I'll tell you, I was impressed. I really was. For the first one, you know, it was so organized, and uh, and everybody just was having a wonderful time, and and it was informative too, Don. Oh yeah, uh, you know, and, but Don, I'll tell you what the 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 real the real um, uh, you know heroes, the real award winners are mm -hmm. those people who benefit from all of the work that our foundations uh, do across mm -hmm. the country. Mm -hmm. Our park foundations are doing some really good work, but it was awesome, awesome to have you uh, as our MC again. I can't thank you enough, and you brought a certain sense of celebrity to the entire event, and <laughs> we're very very grateful for that. <laughs> well, sure. But actually, uh, folks, and uh, Don is trying to, in all the parks uh, uh, in the country, you're trying to get a special swing, are, are you not, Don? Isn't that yeah, one, you of, know, the, one what, of the... What basically, basically happens across the country, Don, in Parks and Rec, um, is, is all of our Parks and Rec systems, mm -hmm. uh, they try and do uh, a lot to um, you know, maintain and, and operate our parks uh, mm -hmm. Quite often, what happens is uh, uh, a demographic that is often overlooked, and that's the uh, that's the handicapped demographic, the the disabled demographic, those who are stricken with wheelchairs. Mm -hmm. I mean, wheelchairs are part of their lives. Mm -hmm. What we're trying to do with the National Association of Park Foundations is install expression swings. These are swings that uh, folks who are um, often in wheelchairs can actually be transferred onto these swings and mm -hmm. these apparatuses and not just involve and enjoy the art of and the, 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 the play uh, that comes along with, with swinging, mm -hmm. but also the opportunity to be included, just like everybody else who's having fun in the parks. Mm -hmm. And um, a lot of our foundations, they could raise enough money to put these swings in, mm -hmm. but what we're really trying to do in the next four or five years is begin the process of actually incorporating an entire park of accessible apparatuses, not just swings. Mm -hmm. is, is it, well, evidently, then, it, it's a separate unit, or can it be uh, installed on swings they already have? Like, say say they have three swings uh, on a pole, you know, on a big... Uh, yeah, can, yeah. Can they install it and take one of the regular swings out and put one of the chairs in there, or, or do well, they have I, to get a whole unit? Yeah, you know what? I would imagine that there are some types of um, uh, of, uh, of swings that could be uh, added to or replaced. Uh, but the 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 marketplace that we are in with our park foundations across the country, mm -hmm. we actually are installing um, these these standalone products mm -hmm. um, that are uh, that are a, a product of of uh, PlayCore. Mm -hmm. And Game Time, mm -hmm. which is a national partner of the National Association of Park Foundations in this initiative. Nice. Um, yeah, but we're we're excited about bringing one already to uh, your listening audience into the the town of Addison mm -hmm. through the Addison Park and Rec Foundation. Now, will one be installed at all the parks, Donald, or is it just in one particular location? Well, that's our goal. That's our goal. But uh, you know, Don, there's um, there's. Uh, at least one that will go into one of the parks in Addison. Oh, okay. It really depends on how how um, how strong 
the fundraising efforts are mm -hmm. um, within the uh, the activities of the Addison Park and Rec Foundation. Sure. But it is our it is our hope that we will have um, a minimum of twenty five of these swings in parks across the country oh, by the year by the year twenty twenty five. Wow! Wouldn't that be nice? Uh, oh my gosh! Yeah. yeah and then, uh, like you say, uh, it only for a swing. Not only for a swing, but it could be for someone who wants to go down a slide a special slide perhaps uh, yes there's there there are different apparatuses for different applications um and different disabilities mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. you know we're we're excited about getting the process started mm -hmm. um with with in, in, incorporating uh, the the joy of play through swinging mm -hmm. um and uh and, and we're excited about it yeah if you get a prototype in addison one is put in uh, other uh, other park uh, parks could see it perhaps and say, "Wow, you know, look at that! They got it in Addison. Why can't we do it in Newark, New Jersey, or something?" Oh, like absolutely. That. Well, people could actually see a short video of the Swing for Everybody oh, okay. uh, campaign on our website at www.napf.org. Okay. All right, napf.org. It's the Swing for Everybody mm. campaign. Yeah, I get you that, a little play on words there. Yeah. Yeah, well, well good luck to you on that. Uh, if I can help you in any way, Donald, uh, please let me know. We are so grateful that you reach out to us and give us this airtime, Don. Thank you so much. Okay, Don. Uh, Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas to you and your, and your listeners. And you too. Thank you, Donald. Bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Wow. How about that, John? America is one of the largest financial services marketing organizations in the nation with approximately 95,000 licensed independent representatives. Primerica is an industry leader in financial services. I'm Mike Figarelli, an independent representative and senior vice president in the Bensonville area, and the company's goal is to help ordinary families prepare for their financial futures. We've shown many local families how to do just that, and we are prepared to grow locally by providing people with financial solutions as well as a great business opportunity. As an independent representative with Primerica, you can build a business of your own, part-time or full-time. To learn more about the Primerica business opportunity, call me. Mike Figarelli at 630-860-0033. Again, that's 630-860-0033. Hi, everybody. The Donna Sports here. Let me tell you about a new sponsor for me. Shoeless Joe's Ale House and Grill, 1480 West Lake Street in Addison, Illinois. And the phone number is 847-773-9147. Dine in and carry out. Now, I'm not going to list all the things that they have, but what I'm going to do for you is uh, when you look at the menu, it'll go like this. Lead off hitters, okay? Shoeless Wings. Five wings, uh, seven ninety nine. Twelve wings, thirteen ninety nine. Homemade soup and chili. Field of Dream salad. Bases loaded pizza. <laughs> Create your own pizza. Papa Joe's pasta. Wow, marinara, vodka pasta, all kinds of uh, pasta. Uh, ground rules. Crosstown classics. All American burgers. This is off of the menu now. Uh, a league of their own. And then there's listed a couple of burgers under All-Star Sandwiches and Wraps, Hall of Fame Paninis, Bench Players, $3, House Specials, Chicken Entree, Joe's Pesci, and Extra Innings. Shoeless Joe's, get over there and uh, enjoy yourself. The place is great. Take care now. Hi, everybody. Welcome back. And all the way, all the way from Ocala, Florida, uh, is my good friend Bob Byron Maxwell. Byron, yes, sir. Hey, buddy, uh, you're not mad at the McCaskies anymore, are you? Look at the Bears, huh? We, <laughs> yeah, yeah, they won three games last year, and now they got the best defense in football. The two best quarterbacks I've seen since McMahon. Yeah. All right. All right. And the, and the best coach I've ever seen since I've been a Bear fan. Wow. 1945. Now, there's a lot of coaches there, Byron. You sure you're going to stay with that prediction, huh? Yeah, uh, well, I'm going to tell you. Uh, from, from what I've seen, John Fox, 
<laughs> yeah, well, we got to have Rex Grossman for a quarterback. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> you're absolutely. <laughs> you're, you know, uh, I, they might have a chance because uh, I was watching uh, New Orleans last night. They didn't look so good, and the Bears are going to end up playing them somewhere down the line. You know, uh, well, they got the bye. And yeah, I'll tell you what, that bye is going to be a big thing. Mm-hmm. Okay, you know, because they, they get that extra week. You know, yeah, and, and so forth. And they don't and know what, got, who else they're going to. Yeah, I can remember defenses like this. Yeah. All right. I, but I never saw linebackers that quick. Even with Singletary and and uh, Wilmer Marshall, all those guys. Man, these guys are are deadly. Well, Holy yeah. Holy neck, man. Well, you're right. I uh, hopefully they can hold up now, uh, uh, because uh, you know it takes a little more than just defense. You know, you got to remember when they won the Super Bowl, they had Walter Payton for heaven's sakes. You know. And, uh, no, no, yeah, but there was only one wall of eight. Yeah, right. That's what I mean. So they don't have. You know, well, they got some good running backs now, though, between Cohen and uh, Howard. You know, those guys are pretty good. So, uh, the, you know, their well, offense well, is not that bad. Walter Payton gained most of the yards he gained on his own. Yeah. All right. Mm-hmm. And what have you? We yeah. got an offensive line now. We've got a good defensive line. And we got some people that maybe got a few smarts. <laughs> you know, reminiscent of Gary Pensick and those guys. Well, that's right. Yeah, I don't know if these guys can come up. Well, well it remains to be seen by because they haven't won the Super Bowl yet. You know, so bef- oh, no. before well, we could compare them too much, we have to wait. If we, you know, they got to win a few more games here. Well, and, no. Yeah, what we hope is they don't go three. They don't go uh, go flat in the in the first playoff game and go out. Well, that's right. That's what we hope they don't do. If Trubisky. Uh, Watches himself, you know, and uh, uh, throw. See that? You're on on the radio, and there's a siren. Yeah. Uh oh. What's going on down there? <laughs> <laughs> so. Well, listen. Yeah. Uh, it's, uh, uh, this is the best team I've seen since 1985. Yeah. Well, you're right. I, I would have to agree with you on that. Uh, although a few years back they had a pretty good team. Remember, they went to the they went to the Super Bowl in 20, uh, whatever, 20. Yeah, and, uh, Pey- and Peyton Manning beat them. Yeah, that's right. So. That, you're right. That's what it was. Remember, I think they yeah. were even leading in that game, I thought. you know. But that was a pretty good team there they had uh, when they went to the Super Bowl. Uh, but then I Manning. Got, I've got an article about Rex Grossman on my wall. <laughs> when, if you ever get here and you'll see it. <laughs> good uh, Rex, bad what Rex. He, what he was doing playing football for anybody but Florida was beyond me. <laughs> well, right, yeah, I, I'll tell you. But he got him to the Super Bowl by. You got to remember that. Jeez, uh, you know they, yeah, but, that don't happen that often. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, so we got we got one and one. We're one and one in the Super Bowl. Yeah, right. All right, by say hi to Bobby for me, will you? And All right, listen, get just. Give Jules my regards and everything, and have a nice Christmas, uh, all you guys. Take all care. All right, thanks, Sam. Bye, bye, bye. All right, right. We'll, we'll be right bye. back, folks. All right, Johnny, I'm going to wrap it up. Hi, everybody. The Donna Sports here. Hey, you guys, it's time to get out and golf. The DuPage County Forest Preserve courses are open. Maple Meadows at 272 Addison Road in Wooddale. It's a lynx-type course that is in great shape and no trees to hit. That's what a lynx-type course is, not many trees. Oak Meadows at 900 North Wooddale Road in Addison is a traditional course with trees, beautiful flowers, and not many sand traps. And the price is reasonable. And get this, it has the longest bar in DuPage County for the 19th hole. And Green Meadows on 63rd and Westmont, a shorter course that is in great shape also. All of these courses are waiting for you at reasonable prices. Call Oak Meadows at 630-595-0071 and make your tea time. Hi, everybody. Welcome back. Uh, Thanks for listening to the show, folks. Let me just remind you of my sponsors, okay, real quick. Forest Preserve District Golf Courses, Primerica Insurance and Investment, Mugs and Manor, Fox Bowl, Advance Auto, Pyramid Sports Bar, Intrend, Max Golden Pheasant, Addison Park District, and Shoeless Joe's. And my callers today... No, thank you very much, you guys, for calling. The big guy, Tom Michael, Andy Tranchita, Judy Jacobucci, 
and uh, Donald Ortal and big Byron Maxwell. Thanks for listening to the show, and a Merry Christmas, Happy New Year to you, Johnny. Same to you and to your wife, uh, Don. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year, and hap- Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to all our listeners out there. Thank you. All right, Johnny, I got to go. Y'all ready for this? You have been listening to the Donna Sports with Don Figarelli from the John DeVita Broadcast Center on the Windy City Hometown Entertainment Network. Remember to watch the Donna Sports with Don Figarelli every Thursday evening at 8.30 p.m. on Comcast Cable Channel number 19. The Donna Sports was directed by John DeVita, and our special thanks to the executive producer of Windy City Hometown Entertainment Network, Mr. John Chaconda. This program was pre-recorded on Tuesday, December the 18th, the year 2018. On behalf of the entire staff of the Windy City Hometown Entertainment Network and the John DeVita Broadcast Center, I wish each and every one of you great listeners a very Merry Christmas and a happy, healthy, and prosperous New Year. See you next year. Take care.